This is a preparation of Lakshmi Puja here in Melbourne. So um, as if we don't have that facility to draw on the floor, we normally do this with the rice flour. This is called Alpona. So here I did use some uh, pastel colors, mix with them and just did this drawing. So these are the Lakshmi mask feet. We just um, draw them to bring Ma home today. So this is my, um, the photo that I'm doing the Puja with. And this is also like a small Alpona where I'll be putting the God. This is my Lokhi Puja God. Normally we do it in the Bengal, like um, in India we do it with coconut. But obviously here we don't have the facility, so I'm just doing it with um, a banana. Just we just uh, sh this is a symbol of Ma Lakshmi, the God. Uh, with this kind of decoration, I did put uh, five spots of uh, sindoor, which is representing uh, Narayan. Like you know, I do not draw the draw the whole one. This is just put a five drops, uh, like dots, which is like representing uh, Narayan. So I'll be just uh, setting up the Ma Lakshmi now and then once I'm done, I'll get back to you. Now we set up Ma Lakshmi for Puja. Guys, I know I look weird, but today is Lakshmi Puja. As you know that I'm just doing the Puja here. So um, here in Melbourne, we do not have a lot of things available. So we just have to do whatever we have with that. So this is my Lakshmi, Ma Lakshmi. And I just decorated her and I just placed her here. And, um, you know, with the decoration, I just want to show you what we have done. Okay, so this is our Ma Lakshmi. And um, this is her symbol. This is like a, a new cloth covered with uh, like a um, rice grain rice grain in a pot and covered with a red new cloth so this is a symbol of Ma Lakshmi and this is her uh, photo that i'm worshipping and uh, we call it god as i say this is a representation of Ma Lakshmi and this is how i just placed it now place this whole thing here now and i'll be doing some more uh, uh, alpona here like a decoration here but not now first of all now i'll go for making some cooking so we do a lot of offer a lot of things to Ma Lakshmi this is a this is a immense pleasure like it's a I can't explain how happy I feel when I do those those things. So I'll be cooking some food for Ma. Like, you know, like we call it khichri, some bhog, we call it bhog, okay? We'll be cooking a lot of things for Ma. And um, yeah, so I'll be starting it now. Thank you so much. So um, this is all about the puja. Like, you know, um, it's all about... The puja is all about, like, you know, preparing for it. And, um, you know, with the thought of Ma Lakshmi. And I just really wanted to share with you all so that, um, you know, just to show you how happy I'm feeling today keep you posted now i'm gonna go and start my cooking i will keep you posted and um, i will let you know how are things going okay thank you just starting my um, offerings cooking um, so the first thing i'm starting with making coconut laddus so i never use this frozen one frozen coconut before i normally get the dry ones so today i think i'm, I'm just starting with some um, i just try to microwave it for a while but it is still looking very weird <laughs> so what i did i just put some water in it in it See, this is how the chunks are coming up. So um, I did put some water in it and sugar and did put some wool. This is just jaggeries. And I'm going to cook it slowly with a slow cook and see where we end up at the end of the day. <laughs> so I, ho I hope, you know, it will, be turn it, it will turn out good with the expectation I'm just going here. <laughs> All right, I'll come back to you. Okay, so um, I did put my coconut thing here, the coconut mixture with sugar and jaggery here. Uh, because I want to make that coconut latte. I think it's gonna take time because I think I messed it up putting a lot of water in this. Um, yeah, so let it cook. Meanwhile, I don't want to waste my time, so I just want to start. I did uh, like you know made a dough of um, right. What well, that's that is a um, flour, like a normal flour, but I accidentally mix some rice flour into it. I'm not sure how my puris are gonna turn out this time because this is the first time it was an accidental thing. So because in India we have a lot of utensils which you can use for puja but here i have limited number of utensils so i i started cooking this thing like you know, i'll start doing my um, puri meanwhile when this thing is getting cooked because i have to cook things simultaneously all right the puris i made with this dough that i made i told you like and i accidentally mixed some um, rice flour to this so they don't look impressive at all so that so i'm just making uh, quickly i just uh, made a dough and making that uh, with the flour only and meanwhile my ghee is ready so I did put some ghee into that oil so that, you know, we get a good flavor in this. Now I'm going to make the puris again, okay? Those are ready. Um, they came in all shape and size. This is the first time I used this kind of um, coconut 
so it's a bit first time experience for me and i'm not going to use them anymore big big no is how obviously they don't look very impressive uh, because it is a shallow fry thing however i hope ma will like it make koi murki that's called murki okay koi is puff fry so we make it with gourd jaggery so it becomes sticky and mix the koi with that so for that i just washed this one a little bit and uh, we put some small pieces three small chunks of gourd uh, this much of gourd is enough for the amount of koi i had so let's see how it where it go the amount of koi i got so after seeing this amount i'm feeling that this amount of gourd has not enough so i added two more here okay so the newly married in like girls but i don't really know how to make murki um so you just make this in a up to the situation to gain like you know one steam consistency all right you just cook it until you get that one steam consistency once you get that you mix the rice with this that's it all right and meanwhile some of the people like my mother doesn't want thing like we put some chopped ginger in this okay once that once this steam consistency is gained um add some chopped ginger and that makes it really, really oh sorry that really makes it a very good flavor and you know yeah so i'm just cooking it till i get that one stream consistency okay this is how i check the one stream consistency one stream consistency put some in the in water and see how it it's like sticky sticky okay this is coming like once it's, it's becoming like a like a kind of sticky and like you know gooey thing so i switched it off because it is already hot because with the heat it will like get further down a little bit cook now i'm going to i got some chopped gingers here i'm going to add them here okay so once the chopped ginger is added i'm going to add this thing into that that will be a risky affair to show you so i have to switch the camera off full amount of koi i could not put in this uh my estimation was wrong so i i think i needed a little bit more gourd so what i did i left to remove some of the koi and now this turned out to be the perfect murki you can imagine up it is not too sticky it is not like you know like you know, sticking with each other but this just coated like finely coated and evenly coated that amount of gourd and the you know the koi so you can just it's kind of you can make it kind of small you know little kind of thing that's it that's all we want Okay, I really don't like it to be very sticky, and um, you know this is a perfect one for me. All right, and I'm not saying it because I did it like that because this is how it is supposed to be. All right, and now this it becomes very hard to clean this, like the uh, the thing that you use a fry pan. So so it becomes a very painful for for the girls who are new to this thing um, to clean this. So now I'm giving you a tip. What you need to do is just pour some water in it and warm it up. Once it is warm, warmed up, like you know, the, all this like stick the jaggery that got stuck over there, they will come out. And you can also add some more uh, water. Sorry, so and also like you know, scoop up, scoop these things out, like you know, and put it, bring them uh, in the center. Otherwise, it see it's very very hard. My goodness. Now time I'm just going to the next one. So by the time I wash this already, it doesn't look good. Don't mind. And um, yeah, so for this one, I, I for making kheer, so we call it parish. we i'm using this uh, rice from bangladesh shop this is called chini gura chal all right i haven't seen this chal in india so this chini gura chal whatever it is it's very fine it's like a small sugar like you know size so um this is what i'm going to make the paish with so first of all oh my gas cleaner and once she came since she came my gas is like behaving weird anyway so that's not the story here I am going to put some ghee, which I just just made. I told you I'm going to put some ghee here. All right, and then after that, I'm going to add milk. I have to open this jar. Put some milk here. Now, what I'm going to do here, I'm going to bring it to boil. This is a very big, the biggest stove of mine. I have got five, like you know, five of them. So this is the biggest one. I'm just putting it here. Oh my gosh, it stopped again. Anyway, so once I get some, like you know, it's started to boil. I'll shift it to the smaller one, and so that it get cooked in the slow, uh, slow way. And here I did pour some ghee. This is very important because otherwise they're gonna stick. The milk was boiling, so I did put all the rice in this, and now I did put it in the slow, slow heat, so it is getting cooked. Meanwhile, this is washed, and I'm gonna do the fry. So we offer fry. Five different type of fries to Malachi or any pork. So um, 
brinjal, or is eggplant, then cauliflower, potatoes, and um, pumpkin and squash. We call it squash. I don't know what you call it. Yeah. So I'm gonna do a fry of it now. Pour oil in the fry pan and also added a little bit of ghee that I made today. And I'm gonna fry these things. And what I'm gonna do here, I'm just sprinkle a little bit of uh, turmeric and um, salt. I use Himalayan pink salt. So I'm gonna sprinkle some of them on this, and then gonna fry them. Okay, deep fry. Even it's not a quite a deep fry, but yeah, shallow deep, whatever you call it. Mixing them a little bit. But the whole thing is look pretty creepy here, honestly, because. I got a very small kitchen here, so I have to do everything in this place. So just trying to mix like salt and turmeric. Yeah. Everything is here. Everything is here. Yeah. That's my kitchen. Whole mess here. Alright. Don't look at that. Now I'm gonna fry them. I'm gonna put all of them in the oil. I'll start it. So I have put everything here in that fry pan and um, I'm if you are a practitioner, probably you are like freaking out why you did put everything here. But honestly, trust me, I have been doing this for I don't know ages. So this works. This works for me. All you need to be doing, like you know, be a little bit of careful that everything gets equal opportunity. I know, I know, it will be done. Don't worry. Nothing is gonna mess up. Everything is gonna work. Yeah. So yeah. And if you are worried too much, you can do one thing. You can cover it. You can have a cover. This works. This really works. And meanwhile, the pie is getting cooked in between. You need to keep stirring them, otherwise it will get on the bottom. All right. Keep doing this. See, I told you trust the process. Meanwhile, I got some potatoes and the brinjal cooked already, and um, these things are getting ready. Some more done. Something looks good. Just something too. Just be careful, just not gonna mix them too much. Just something that's ready. Okay, put it over there. Okay, I'm gonna take it. Okay, just a little bit of time. The real ginger somehow is okay. Put in that much of the oil. Now we're gonna let her swing in the oil once she got it done. And this potato, this thing is done. Okay. Okay, we're swing, 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 we give it in In few more seconds, this batch will be done. Okay, if I could have done it separately, it could be take it could have taken me five batches to cook them, honestly. I am not that patient. Okay, I don't have that much patience. So I'm gonna cover it a little bit to make it faster. Trust the process. This one, what I did this time, I did put all my veggies inside. All right, all these veggies to fry, and I'm just covering it. Okay, and meanwhile I keep stirring this fry. Stop and flip this um, eggplant and this squash it. So of course you. Okay, and now I'm gonna cover it again. Next thing I'm gonna get prepared for is shark, okay? And I'm gonna get spinach for shark. These spinaches are like, look very perfectly healthy, but whatever the leaves I found are not good, I remove them. Now look, I do not really have time for cleaning all the roots and everything. So what I'm gonna do here, I'm gonna chop the roots off. I know those are the healthy ones. I should not be, but I am, you know, in a hurry to so do everything. So quickly gonna chop this part and chop them like in a small pieces and then wash them. Okay, this thing is almost getting done. And meanwhile, I have checked that rice and uh, the rice is cooked, all right? So I just, how you do this? You just take a little bit of rice from here. All right, and you fry it. Oh, rice came up. My goodness, but I just skin. Okay, so you check this rice and just place it in your hand. If you find that it is cooked, it is done. Uh, mine, my, don't look at my nails. They are kind of horrible. So I'm just gonna use this because I use my left hand, so I'm gonna throw. I just um, did the heat, like you know, I did put it in the high flame, and it is getting like you know, uh, the, uh, just to evaporate some more milk and make it more thick. Meanwhile, this thing I removed all the fried thing; they are all done. And now what I'm gonna do here is the same thing. I have chopped some um, eggplants. I'm I'm gonna put some. Here's my spices rack here. Uh, this is quite messy here. My spice rack. 
I'm gonna take that patch forum from here. Yeah, this is the patch forum, and I'm going to put some patch forum into the oil, and I will make the sag. Same oil, I'm gonna cook that sag. I'm gonna put some patch forum in this. Uh, it's gonna fry a little bit and bring chilies. I didn't chop them to be honest. I don't want to make it very hot. So putting some eggplant in it. I'm gonna add some turmeric. And that my special Himalayan pink salt. I'm using my hat guys, do not mind. This is how it goes. Fry, fry, fry. If you feel that you need some more oil, you can add some more oil. But this eggplant, I just want to see how they go. Uh, yeah, I think a little bit of oil should be fine. I'll add some more oil here. Beautiful gas is giving me a hell lot of pain. Anyway, so I did add some oil here. And I'm going to fry these things for a while. It looks pretty messy. I don't care because this, this will be fine. I know and trust the process as I said. I'm gonna cover this now. Okay, so what I did with this one now, this is as I said, I left it for milk to overcook it. I'm gonna mix it a little bit. Once I'm happy with the milk amount, what I'm gonna do here, I'm gonna add sugar. You can add amount of sugar as per your taste and also I'm gonna give some elychees in this one to bring that some beautiful smell added sugar to it already and I mixed it also I just want to add some cardamom fox see I did add I hate them uh, if they like are too many I'm gonna mix it and I'm gonna also add some um, sultanas to it let that, that mix properly my sultana pot I'm gonna use whatever is there these sultanas are very special like they're not like a regular sultanas i got them from an indian store they probably come from egypt that's what they said so whatever is there i'm gonna use it they are kind of a kind of a you know a little bit of, bit of crunchy i don't know these kind of sultanas i have not seen before if they kind of a crunchy i'm gonna wash them and then gonna put them into the paish okay my beautiful gas again stopped so it didn't go as per, as per my expectation now i have to again wait for a longer time to get this thing cooked and, and it's quite good. anyway so because my gas was not on this thing delayed now i'm gonna cover it again and i'm gonna wash my beautiful spinaches is my beautiful gas again stopped that's absolutely amazing however i'm not gonna wait this thing to be cooked properly i'm gonna put this spinaches straight forward to this pan now okay i wash them a couple of times something even if you wash it thousand times there are still some sand here so that's why whenever you're cooking the spinach leave it for a while in the water and just get some water and pick it up from the top okay otherwise it is going to be a messy thing so that's what i do so that the sand always go in the bottom and um, you get the clean one okay so now it looks too many here don't worry everything will be under control i'm not going to add anything now only a little bit of my powder that's that much okay that much is fine And now I'm gonna cover it. Fine, she's ready. I'm done with this because I'm happy with the consistency I got here. But anyways, it is gonna uh, be a little bit of thicker than whatever I'm seeing now. It's gonna be a little bit of thicker. Okay, so I'm happy with that, so I'm leaving it here. And shag is like water is coming up, so it will be ready soon. It is not gonna take long. And I'm gonna put it in a high heat now. Meanwhile, while the shag is getting done, I'm gonna add some ginger here. So chopped ginger that I had some previously done. I should have done it before honestly. I should have kept it before but it doesn't matter. I added it here and I'm going to put it in a high heat. Okay. 
and meanwhile i'm going to get prepared for the next day should be a chutney this is almost done and i'm going to smash all the things together just lightly trying it that uh, the it can still hold the texture of it and try it nicely meanwhile i chopped the tomatoes so the chutney that we make in bengal is a bengal it's a bit different than what the chutney concept in all over the india it's a very different one however i will show you how i do this meanwhile this thing is drying up i want to make it as dry as possible okay and it is drying it is chopped i'm going to prepare my next thing here which is khichdi so i'm going to add some moog dal here i'm happy with this amount let me see what about that food yeah i'm happy with this and i'm going to wash it very nicely while all those things are getting cooked i'm going to wash it dry and then uh, keep it dry like you know drain all the water i will wash it couple of more times and drain all the water and let it dry for a while ready uh, this is all exactly the consistency i want it see there is no water draining from here the water was already there so that's not draining from this shark now meanwhile i did put this karai again washed it and put it again uh, i'm going to cook that chutney here now for this chutney i'm going to show you how we do this uh, i'm going to put some oil here first okay white oil obviously uh this chutney i'm going to make it with white oil i need some panch foron again panch foron is a like an exotic spice honestly <laughs> All right, and I also need chilies. Now the oil is hot. I'm gonna pour this first pour and chili here. Fry it for a while. Now I'm gonna add this chopped ginger. Okay, some chopped ginger here, and add all the tomato juice. All the ginger are cooked. Now we'll have to wait for the ginger to be cooked. Add all the tomatoes. So I added a little bit of salt, and now I'm going to fry these tomatoes for a while. Okay. And I'm also going to add mandarins, these ones, into this. They are seedless, so don't worry about it. They don't have seeds. I'm mean, testing. Put them together, and I also keep the peels of the onions. What I'm going to do here at the end, just before it's getting cooked, I'm going to cut them in a very thin slice and add them to this. Going to cover this one now. So this uh, chutney is getting cooked. I'm going to prepare for the khichdi. So today I'm going to make guna khichdi. This is a we got a lot of different varieties of khichdi. Okay, so this is a different uh, like a version that we are doing so for puja. Um, I normally do like a pulao type of, but today I'm just going to do a guna uh, kichuri. So the da the dal that I already washed and I just just spread it on this thing, you know. And uh, this is just to get the moisture a little bit of dry. You don't have to really make it dry. You cannot do it in the middle of the night. So now I have taken rice in this. I'm using sona masuri. Um, in Bengal normally they do use atok chal. I don't know what exactly that thing is, but however, anyway, so uh, like go with the hog or something like that. So I'm using sona masuri today. and uh, i'm going uh, normally in the khichdi they take like 1 is to 2 ratio but i'm not going with that ratio i'm just taking a little bit of more than half um of the uh, like a, sorry a little bit more than the amount of this dal all right going to wash it and also make it dry as much as possible the situation now under this condition what i'm going to do here is going to add go to this one okay? generous amount of food because I want it to make the chicki so a little bit of chicki so if you uh, have time you can do something you can use oil roast from kala gira um, I'm not sure whether I'm going to do it because I don't want to use the mixi that I normally get to really use uh, thing. so you can just roast a little bit of um, pastorum and smash it so you can make a powder of it and at the end of this thing you can add this that turns out to be absolutely amazing however I'm not going to do that today Cooked. Um, I need to wait till this becomes a little bit, a little bit sticky. However, as you know, we should be multitasking to finish this off. So meanwhile, I did put my gas on, and this thing is now on the gas, so that I can start making my kitchen. So it's getting warm, it's getting warm up, and dal is ready, rice is ready. So these are the things I will be needing for my kitchen. Okay, I forgot the ginger. I will be adding some ginger, chopped ginger, because yeah, chopped or crushed, whatever you call it. I'm, go I'm not gonna fine chop it because I do not. 
want to use my chopper that I normally use. So things that we'll be needing here, I'm just showing you here. Um, for the foro that we call tarpa, is like a whole garam masala. See, you guys can see from here. Okay, so whole garam masala is like a cinnamon, cardamom, and um, this is clove, and then jeera, whole jeera cumin, and um, three spices, turmeric, cumin, and this is um, paprika sweet. I normally use the paprika sweet because I don't want hot. This is chili, this is in Kashmiri chili, which is not very hot. And this is, you know, cashews. Beautiful gas again getting off. However, I did pour some oil, uh, oil in this, but I'm gonna add ghee, all right? I made this tea for puja today. I did with ghee here. Everything is warming up, okay? Now, what I'm gonna put here first is the tarpa. Tarpa is like the whole thing that I got. Cumin, all oh, these whole things. That was there. So I will start frying another one. So frying this a little bit here. Yes. Putting the gas a little bit low, but my gas is so weird that whenever I'm putting it low, it's just going off. However, now I'm gonna add the uh, cashews. Normally, it is preferred that you fry the dal beforehand, this dal, but I'm not doing it that way today. So I'm gonna pour this dal in this thing, okay? Okay, I think I need to stop this and all the thing is, um, you should be actually doing this frying before. However, as I said, um, I didn't do it today. And um, in the tarka, you actually can add some chopped ginger, but I'm not gonna, I didn't do it. So I'm gonna add it now. Some chopped ginger, chopped and crushed ginger, and also adding all the masalas here, okay? I also added some salt to this. Now frying it okay with all the masalas. To be careful that the spices should not be burned, and because I did doing it. Oh yeah, yes. oh my gas. The gas was not working. So meanwhile, I fried it and I also added the rice. And yeah, this bay leaf, this magical bay leaves. Okay, so this magical bay leaves I normally need to add at the tarka, but I didn't do it, so that don't matter. It doesn't matter anyway. I'm just gonna crush them and just gonna add them again. Now, okay, now fry the whole thing. You need to be frying it very, very nicely now for at least for a couple of minutes. And meanwhile, I'm happy with the progress of my chutney, so I'm gonna switch it off, okay? Not gonna cook it anymore, and I don't have the energy to chop this skins and add to this, but you can if you have the energy when you are doing it. So I'm gonna switch it off, this is done. Now I'm concentrating on this khichdi, I need to keep on frying this thing now. I just added a little bit of more ghee. This is my homemade ghee, as you know, I made it today. So uh, I just added a little bit of ghee to this and I'm keep frying, okay? Once this khichdi is ready, I'm gonna cook, make some tea for myself because I'm like a, you know, tea addiction. I got tea addiction, I cannot. It's already almost around nine o'clock here, 9 p.m. Without tea, I'm gonna die. So I'm gonna make some tea for myself. We keep on frying and once this thing looks quite like something like that, it's not burned, trust me, uh, the spices are all like quite cooked. Now you want to add water to this. Normally I would prefer to add warm water and I have to add a couple of more of this bowl so I'll come back. Not of water I did add. If you, if I just cook it, you can see me how the, okay, this is the amount of water. Okay. There's really not much measurement. I might need to add some more water. So let me just see how it goes. So I will let it be on the high heat till it gets a boil. Okay, once it is boil, start boiling, I will put the flame down. I have to probably switch on to my new or other gas because this gas is creeping. So I'm gonna go to the next gas um, once it is started boiling. I will put it in the lower flame and cover it. All right, I think I might need to add some more water, but not now. So yeah, come back, I'll come back after some time. Boiling now, I'm gonna transfer this to this gas, okay? I will put it on so, I'll, so that I will lower the flame and put it over there because it started to boil, okay? So I just want to show you something. This is, I made a smashed ginger and uh, green chilies in this, in a clean drum. The reason being, I don't really want to use my regular mixi to do this puja thing. So um, I just smashed the ginger the way I could as much as possible. Now I'm gonna do a little bit of more.
boiling now. I'm gonna put it in the lowest heat possible. I'm going to cover it. Okay. I'm preparing the masala for this um, sabji, like uh, uh, what do you call it, labra. Yeah. So I took all the smashed uh, ginger and um, green chilies in this one, and also added. Kashmiri chili, if you can, if you want Kashmiri chili, I use sweet paprika, then turmeric, and um, cumin and coriander. Now I'm gonna make a paste out of it and keep it aside for a while, and I'll go for cut chopping the vegetables. I was looking a little bit pale. I really don't like pale kitchen, so I did add some turmeric powder to this. Honestly, you can. It doesn't matter. Hey, you can add it. All right. So I'm gonna mix it well. And I believe with the situation of the khichdi here, with the rice, they are almost looking at me. Uh, I don't like them looking at me like that. So I'm going to add a little bit of more water into this. Okay. I'm going to cover it now. I did add some more water. Okay. I want to make it a little bit of sticky looking um, rather than being like, you know, all those uh, rice and dal looking at me with big eyes. No, I don't want that. So, um, yeah, I just did add some water. And this is what it is now. Okay. And what I believe that under the condition, I need to add a little bit of salt. Okay. Because I cannot taste it. The pujas, uh, uh, you know, the offerings, we do not taste them. And also, I'm going to add ghee. Okay. Generous amount of ghee I'm going to put into this. I'll add some more ghee in anyway. So, um, yeah. So, I'm going to add some more, what do you call it? Salt. Yeah. I'm going to add some salt here and going to cover it. Is looks like an almost done, okay. Almost uh, cooked now. I'm gonna add a couple of things here. I'm gonna add some coconut, those frozen ones, okay. I'm gonna add them here, and also I'm going to add sugar, okay. This is important, you need to add sugar to this. I'm not gonna make it like a very sweet, but I'm gonna add some sugar very well. Really, really well. This is done as per my expectation. Now, what I'm gonna do here? I'm going. I'm not gonna cook it anymore. Okay. Uh, just gonna increase the heat for a moment. Mix this till the sugar melts. And I hope with the heat, the coconut will cook itself. And it's it's okay even if it doesn't. Coconut is like you know, obviously you can eat it. Not a problem. So now we're gonna not like it's not about us honestly. See, that sounds so pretty. Mixed it well. Now I'm gonna switch this gas off and going to cover it. Okay. This khichdi is not done. Like you know, it's we should be ready in another five ten minutes. Meanwhile, I'm gonna start uh, mix vegetables. So what I did, I just chopped some vegetables here, like roughly like whatever is like whatever. So some of them are chopped. I could didn't chop a lot of them because I don't have space here. So I'm gonna start the cooking the mixed veg now. Meanwhile. Um, then I'll, where I'll just mix and I'll put some more veggies in it. Mix vegetable labra. I'm gonna cook it in mustard oil. Okay, definitely in mustard oil. No other oil. So I'm adding generous amount of mustard oil here, to be honest. And I'm um, getting ready for that. Let it let it cook and get just like get the raw smell of mustard oil. Like cook till it goes away. I need to warm it up. As a tarka or puro, I use whole garam masalas. Okay, which is cinnamon, cardamom, and um, clove, and also some bay leaves. Uh, this looks creepy. I should discard this anyway. So yeah, and um, this is the Kashmiri chili and patch for one. Okay, I'm gonna put it in the oil. This is a big one, to be honest. Really, really big. So I will wait a couple of seconds for this to cook. And now I'm going to add this mixer that I already made. I'll just wash it and put the water in there. I'm going to fry this well, really, really well, because this, how this, well, like that, uh, what do you call it? What do you call it? Labra, yeah. How the labra will turn out, it depends on how you cook this. So this needs to be cooked very, very well. So keep on frying for a moment. Because I already added water, so I'm not scared of it. So definitely you can put it on a high heat and keep on frying. And you are going to add some salt in it, okay? I added salt, now cooking it. You know, don't want them to burn, alright? Just cook. Once it is done, 
You're gonna add all the veggies to it. I'm gonna slowly add the veggies here. And once this is inside, I'm gonna cut some more veggies and add them. Now being cooked, it is gonna take some time. And I have mixed all the vegetables here. All you need to do is just keep on mixing here in between. Okay. So I feel that the masalas are a little bit less. So I'm gonna add some turmeric and uh, chili powder to this. Also a little bit of coriander powder. And also some ghee. And then I'll mix it well. So meanwhile, these uh, veggies are like, you know, getting prepared. I'm just uh, mixing it meanwhile. So now I'm gonna make noibiddo. So this is a, another very important part of the Lakshmi Puja or any pujas that we do in our Bengalis, we do it. So the noibiddo is like a offering that made with rice, sugar, and um, banana. Banana you need to definitely include. So there are two noibiddos you have to make, one for Mahalakshmi and one for Pancho Devata. Pancho Devata means five gods, all right? And now there is a very tricky thing here when you are making the Poncho Devota's um, offering, like a Noibiddo. It is said that you these five Noibiddo's we will be making in one plate, okay? And they should not be touching each other, totally. Should not be touching each other. So if that touches, it's been said like you, your husband will be marrying again. So you will be, yeah. So I hope it makes sense. So yeah, so you always have to be very careful while this uh, making things. Definitely you don't want your husband to marry again. Um, so be extra careful when you are doing this. So they should be completely separate from each other, okay? And whatever is just remaining, I'm gonna put it here. Look, I don't know whether these things really mean anything. But this is what I have learned from the elders. What they say, that's what I'm saying. Doesn't really mean anything. It's totally up to you what you believe. But I can't take the risk, you know. All right. With the ready, um, uh, oh, I just didn't do much of things. Like only added some sugar, sugar cubes and um, banana and uh, rice. Okay. I'm going to add some little bit of sweets like you know whatever we have got from Maloki to these things also and that's it. So I'm gonna add some gur into this jaggery for adding a bit of sugar okay and mix it. Right so now all set I have done everything that's everything is complete now and I'm gonna start my puja and um i have done all the offerings i know i look so weird i'm so exhausted um but yeah i'm very very happy i'm feeling very delighted so i'm gonna show you exactly what are the things that i have got ready and um uh, yeah so this is mahalakshmi and um as i did show you that time everything is ready here so i did put these candles here and these are the offerings that i made i don't know starting from this luchi these fruits this is khichdi and um, we decorate everything like with five kind of fries with uh, labra, khichdi, chak and a pan for ma, paish, chutney, uh, noibiddo for malokhi, noibiddo for pancho devota, tilen naru which I didn't make. Um, this is a naru made out of sesame uh, which I bought actually and um, the rest of the things are the murki and um, the uh, laddu that I made. Um, and also sweets and this is for uh, Narayan because Narayan is a uh, husband of Mahalakshmi so we believe that without offering Narayan she would definitely will not be happy if we offer her only so definitely for the, uh, that is for Narayan and um, this is actually a combination of atta, um, jaggery and um, sugar as well as um, a banana and milk okay and this is yogurt and all set so starting my puja soon and I will definitely pray for all of you who requested me and um, let us start the puja this is a very like you know big moment for me honestly because um i'm grateful to mahalakshmi that i am being able to do the puja today which i could not do last year a lot of thing happened in my life which was beyond control but i'm feeling blessed and um, grateful and i want to show my gratitude to ma so let's get started the puja is finished everything has been wrapped up and I was extremely tired after the puja. So the puja is like we do mantras and then after the mantra we do pachali. So this is the pachali actually. This is the book that I follow for my the, for the instruction. So it's written in Bengali. And uh, that gives all the instruction how to do puja. And after the puja, um, we have to read the story of Ma Lakshmi. 
and that's the end of the puja so after the puja um we just cleaned up everything whatever we could and organized the prashad and we all had prashad it was i can't tell you how beautiful and everything was cooked and like it's like heavenly so amazing so that gives me a feeling that ma actually took my offerings and she accepted my offering so this is absolutely blessing and uh, this uh, this is in my room and uh, the whole night there will be a candle burning and um, we need to keep that window open over there and um, i removed everything so things are messy now anyways so um, yeah so one window will be open for the whole night and the candle will be burning so that we believe that ma lakshmi comes at night with her um owl that's the transport <laughs> you know she's that that's like every god has like a one kind of pet that's the concept we have in our religion so yeah so mahalakshmi will be coming at night and um she will be um you know yeah blessing us all and um, this is going to show you something this is my daughter meeti has drawn this and that's owl she, that's so cute she did draw this owl all right for mahalakshmi as a gift to mahalakshmi and yeah so i hope you will enjoy this i hope you enjoy this video that i uh, made for you all and uh, i know this is just like um, nothing like a you know it's kind of um you know i can't explain what it is how good i'm feeling today and how blissful i'm like you know how blessed i'm um, blissful this all the words are jumbling on my anyways so what i'm feeling like how blessed i'm feeling today and um, yeah me and my bless you all and your family brings all the happiness and abundance in your life Thank you so much for watching. Bye.